Hi guys, welcome to Color Snack Sunday. Today we'll be sketching a flamingo bird. I recently took a creative bug class with August Wren and um, I just had so much fun painting the flamingo that I wanted to, uh, to do a watercolor version. So the ones I did in that class were all in gouache, but I want to do a watercolor one. So to get started, um, I'm using just this flat brush to wet my paper. I'm using the wet on wet technique and the trick with um, wetting the paper first is just making sure that you just slightly cover the paper so the water is not dripping so you can see there's like a, a nice glisten on it so it's always easier to you know add a little bit more water than it is to remove it but if you have a paper towel you can easily you know remove the excess water um, so I'm using the uh, Prima watercolor, um, Prima marketing watercolors, and uh, this is the pastel set. It's so nice. I love the colors in here. So let's let's get started. Um, the flamingo bird is essentially like a, a curvy, you know, a curve that is almost like a backwards too. So I'm gonna start with the head. and make my curve and then here's the body of the bird so really if you think about it in sim simple shapes it's like the number two but backwards I just love the way the, uh, the watercolors look on with the wet on wet technique so I just honestly cannot get enough of it so I'll just keep having fun um, so I'm using the um, almost like uh, the second to the smallest brush out of the Mozart art supplies water brushes they're super great so now for the legs is in a lot of pictures that I see of flamingos they're you know they're standing either on one leg or two, but I'm going to be drawing it with uh, one of its little legs bent up because I see a lot of these, for some reason, flamingos like to do that. So I'm going to have fun with it. So the legs are simple, you know, just do one, uh, one line here and then another one kind of crossing it and then for the beak I'm going to do kind of like a little shape and I'm using the the orange that came with the set um, all right so actually it looks like the paper already dried on me so I'm gonna just wet it just a little bit to do the background And then with a the water brush, you can easily, you know, add add some extra water. I just use the flat use the flat brush at the beginning because it's easier to cover the whole area. All right, so using this awesome pastel blue for the background. And I love how the colors bleed into each other during, during this stage of the sketch. You know, you can also add a little bit more like shading by doing like a deeper, um, a deeper color going in with more pigment versus uh, water. And you can also correct your uh, lines a little bit, you know, so mine came out a little bit too thick for for the legs of the flamingo because their legs are usually super skinny. So 
by doing the background, I can go in a little bit and correct that. And also add some shading and definition to the sketch. And there you have it. Uh, one last detail that I want to add is the eye of the bird. I might, I might go in after it dries because I don't want the eye to bleed, but otherwise the sketch is finished. Thank you! Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications of new video uploads. Thanks again! Have a great day!